loaded. Have to lock the trailer. You guys are probably wondering why I need to do this here because people get their trailer stolen. That's right, guys. Lock the trailer. Make sure it's all that. Trailers get stolen. That's right, guys. We here in Cairns. We've got some. A lot of pirates, a lot of thieves here in this popular boat ramp right here. Tangara boat ramp. People steal trailers in broad daylight while you're out. It's happened. I've seen a few get knocked off. It's unbelievable, right? In broad daylight. So yeah, always helps to just lock up for that peace of mind. down to the ram now okay we have incoming tide today still a bit low but we want to catch the top of the tide or almost at the top anyway <laughs> yep every time good thing Some crab pots. That's right, we got some crab pots. Today we're gonna be chasing some crabs. Back to the good old crabs. You know me guys, I don't have much uh, luck with crabs. That's probably because uh, I don't set them long enough. But I don't know. Just no luck, I think. We'll see how we go today. I'm gonna set some in and hopefully get one. As long as I get one, I'm pretty happy. One legal size, I mean. I'll set it at about one or two rounds and see what happens. Since there's so many pirates on land and in the water, I just like to sit and watch my pots. I've set them a few times overnight and uh, I come back the next day and it's been raided. All that hard work, effort, <laughs> your crab pots get raided. Uh, it gets very frustrating guys, but it happens here a lot here in Cairns. Uh, for me anyway, I get raided all the time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just sit and watch. Give it a few hours, check it, and we'll see how it will go. Stay tuned guys, see if we get some crabs. chicken frames today I like using chicken frames they're cheap and uh, crabs love them works wonders okay so what I'm going to do is just pull the zip tight there you go ain't going nowhere So we're about this deep. It's about probably two foot. Gotta get a bit shallow. Yeah. 
Yeah, still two foot. <sighs> Getting shallower. Can't see the bottom, the water's really murky. So, make sure Ming Kota's not stuck on the bottom. Pull Ming Kota off a bit. Pull up another foot. Throw one here. Throw one here. Right there, you can just see the pot. It's under the trees, see what happens. I forgot to put the burly on the other one. We'll put it on this one. This one has the good thing about the chicken frames is you can just do that to it. To the center. I've got this uh, super old, just as long as my crab pot. Wilson tuna oil, a bit of burly. Let's uh, marinate the. Um, The chicken, just pour a little bit onto it. This stuff is strong. It's so sticky. This is really sticky, strong stuff. So you know, be careful. It gets all over your boat, and it's hard to wash off. It's oil. Just before we throw the pots in, pour a little bit over the chicken, and then toss it in. Add a little bit of marinara smell to it. Okay. Let's get right up to those trees here. Let's get right into this stump here. Alright. Just pour a little bit. Like that. Straight in there, reverse back out. Just throw this up here in the trees. There you go. Whew. A lot of sand flies. Put some Bushman on. Bush mechanic using the Bushman. Uh, there you go. Let's just stop some uh, sandies from biting. Uh, there's some bubbles, a line of bubbles there. Uh, God knows what that could be. There you go, right there. Pot still laying out, but it's high tide. Yeah, right here. Oh, look, there's an old pot. Someone's left there. Careful, there's a big log here. Mm. We're all set now, we've got all the pro, uh, four pots set up. Uh, the waiting game begins. Let's give it about an hour or two and then we'll check and then repot again. Hopefully, I won't need to repot again and catch uh, one or two and then that'd be good for me. Just got a few along here. Down the head there. And 
stay tuned and see what happens. But for the meantime, yeah, but, uh, for the meantime, we'll see what happens. We're gonna do some scouting around for a bit. So to show you guys, we have a dragnet here. Yeah. Just a couple of hundred meters from where I was potting. The locals drag nets, so uh, I think they're allowed to do it. Well, you are allowed to drag nets up here anyway in the far north, I believe. I think uh, there's a certain size. I, I remember checking the, uh, the Queensland Fisheries website. You are allowed a certain drag net. I think it's six meters by 1.5 meters tall or something like that with a certain mesh size. I can't remember. I think it's. Yeah, but uh, yeah. You can use it. They are uh, dragnet, but uh, oh, stingray, uh, stingray, uh, just blending in. But uh, yeah, up up here in the, especially here in Cairns, with the amount of crocs, uh, don't don't want to be going into the water. <laughs> yeah, just use a gas net. Oh. Uh, I've seen people do it, the drag nets. Uh, I have nothing against it. You're allowed to, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, getting in the water is the dangerous part. Big lizards, man. We've got big lizards. Bigger than the three meter lizards they have down south. We've got five meters up here. Um, yeah, and man eaters too. So, I, like, I like my limbs where they are. <laughs> Let's just see if there's any prawns around. Might as well. In this rain. Let's see if there's any prawns around. Big one. Some bait. Oh, lots of herring bait. Good old mud herring. Use them for bait. Now the reef. Yeah, it's mud herring. Yeah, it's not too bad. No prawns. Oh. Keep looking. <sighs> All right, guys. About two hours has passed. The magic moment is here. Let's go and see if there's any crabs. Got a cod. <laughs> no crab. Damn. Yeah, little black spot cod, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
not a single nipper no females no sandies nothing no smallies barren all right let's go to the next one not looking good at all <laughs> but that's normal i'm used to it normal for me but i'll keep trying nevertheless third one nothing oh we got one <laughs> my small one yeah. we got one but uh, yeah it's too small and it doesn't have a nipper too okay let's have a look it's definitely under yeah uh, it looks like a male, yeah, nice big shell, let's put the bucket here, so let's tip him upside down, yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah, see, you can tell it's a male, nice big, uh, nice big nip. But he's small, he's probably, <coughs> oh, he's probably at 13 there only. Yeah. Off you go, buddy. Okay, nothing there. Final one. Slowly drift. Oh, crikey. <sighs> oh, that's not good. It's gone under. Mangrove. way is it no <sighs> oh, we got a crab oh there's a few here Got a few in this one, but they're all small. Oh, big female. <laughs> oh, there she goes. That was a female. Oh, there's a huge hole under there. Oh. Big female fell out of here. <laughs> and that's a fem That's a male here. This one. Yeah. Oh well. Small one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Get the small male out. Oh. Uh, see this hole here? She would have dug a hole out of here. Oh, let me just zip tie this up. It's not good. Put a hole through my net. Yeah, hopefully that'll temporarily secure it for now. Did get a two there, small male and a big female which fell out on the bottom. No keepers anyway. Let's reset them. Get about another hour, come back and uh, don't catch anything that the tide's too high. It's probably no good. Call it a day. Bailed again. <laughs>
for grabbing. I didn't fail, I got a few, but uh, no keepers. Yeah. Well, stay tuned. Back in a couple of hours. I was just I was just pulling out the Minn Kota up and then I find out that uh, it was a bit wobbly so I had a look and uh, the little washer that holds uh, this little spigot, the steel spigot down like that, see it's supposed to hold it down and then yeah this little rubber it's supposed to go in there and that goes down like that, this goes to there and holds this metal down the bottom near the groove has fallen out this rubber's fallen out and there's a couple of uh, stoppers there you go so now I mean go is wobbly see it doesn't hold anymore it doesn't lock properly anymore because the the um little little washer there plastic washer is falling off I don't know if you guys can see on the other end, you can see it just there, the other end, the other side, he has one. And, yeah, took the side panel off and now I've got that problem. Now I've got that problem to worry about. Oh, God. Still use it, but it's a bit wobbly. So. Oh, I don't want to be repairing it there in case um something slips and one of these one of these fine pieces fall into the water. See it's so close to the front. It's gotta go and try and push them back in. And one of these falls in the water and it's game over. So now you're gonna get spare parts if you lose some of these pieces. Stainless steel and it's hard rubber. So it's supposed to go something like that. That. But then, uh, like that. Then it's fallen out. Yeah. <sighs> so that time's come anyway. So I'm just gonna use it what I can. Grab the pots and probably run home. Ugh, another problem as well. Yeah, hey, let's grab the pots. It's not motor problem, it's just a few little washers, so that's uh, shouldn't be a problem. Should be an easy fix. There we go. Oh, it feels a bit heavy. Is that a good sign if it feels a bit heavy? <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, <laughs> one smally. Okay. Oh, female. Small nippers. Let's have a look. Let's turn them around. Turn her. Yeah, there you go. See, female. You can just tell by the nippers usually if they got nippers on. When they have nippers on, small nippers, good chance of a female. Awesome, is that a Ming Carter? Pull, just drag it all the way out to the open water. Hey, let's see what we got. Ah, there's nothing here, I bet. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, one sandy. Oh. So I got nothing. Looks like a male. Nice big nipper. Probably is. Let's have a look at Mr. Sandy. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is a male. Uh, nope, we don't qualify. Go on, nip me. 
it's the uh, first notch there there you go there and just there it's off by about half a centimeter <laughs> standy too small bye bye okay Okay, looks like nothing. Oh, we got a sandy. Looks, oh, I got a few sandies. Three sandies. Three big sandies. We got three big sandies. I know that one's legal. That one as well. I'm not sure about that one down there. Wow, three sandies. Let's get the brag measure. Oh yeah, and it's a male. No, let go, come on. Three nice sandies, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, won't let go. Oh, let's measure him anyway. Yeah, a notch. Let's just go in a little bit. Yeah, see, he's way over. <laughs> the notch there, my middle finger. It's about over a centimeter there. Yeah. Oh yeah. About two, almost two centimeters over. Yeah, he's he's um he's almost fifteen. Come on, let go. Uh, don't lose his nippers. <sighs> yeah. First one. Um, keep him in water fresh. I know that one's probably legal too. The second one. Let's have a look. fight with a bit of water in yeah keep them fresh till they get home it's really hot today uh, yeah I even measure a little bit over as well like excessive he still measures but he's good all three good sized sandies yeah Sort them out when they get on. Just come in and grab their drag nets there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, nothing on this one. Whew. Empty. Well, that's it, guys. No crabs on this one. Got a few sandies, which is a. I didn't expect sandies. Yeah, I didn't expect three as well, so uh, that was great. Crabbin! Hi? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Any luck? Is it? You reckon? I've, I've been here for. All morning watching my ones. Oh, I haven't seen anyone. Oh, you want yours? Yours? Sitting on yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never, I never, I never, um, I never leave mine because of the pirates, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, nah. yeah. 
I never. Oh, buddy, I think they hit mine, so you reckon? Yeah. Uh. Oh, you guys leaving overnight? Yeah. Ah, uh, that. Oh, oh, yeah, no. yeah, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, watch that right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, n I never leave it overnight, my pamphlets. Yeah, I, I just watch it for a couple of hours and that's it. Oh, what bed do you use? I just use chicken, chicken, chicken frames. Chicken frames? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does alright. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've, I just move away a bit. Yeah. I've been here all morning watching my plots and I haven't seen anybody else. So it must be during the night or something if you guys got raided. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah. No, nice seeing you guys, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, Nice to chat with the local fishermen. See what they said. They got raided as well. That's why I sit around watching my pots. When this morning when we came, I was talking about pirates. Huh? They said there's overnight and they got raided. Unbelievable. Yeah. What can you do when this happens, man? One of the reasons why I don't uh, crab much green cans, guys. Uh, it's uh it's because of that i like to leave them overnight more chances of catching however the pirates oh, yeah i better head off and this is not holding it not locked in on properly anymore so i gotta wrap it up so uh, she doesn't wobble as much there you go We'll hold it in there for a bit. disastrous ended up being all right managed to get those three sandies in the one pot which is quite nice a couple of small muddies and females tossed them all back uh, yeah as long as I get one legal size crab I'm pretty happy yeah, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of crabbing hopefully if this rain keeps continuing I wouldn't mind getting out and do a few more crabbing but uh See what happens? Not very lucky with crabs and too many pirates. So I had to sit there a long time waiting for my pot. I guess it's uh, bye for now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, stay tuned to the next videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, smash the thumbs up on the bottom of the screen before you leave. As always, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.